Hello, my name is Dennis McCarthy and today I'm going to talk to you about our courses here in AIT in software design with virtual reality and gaming. We have two courses on the CEO with regard to virtual reality and gaming. Our ordinary level 7 degree AL703 Bachelor of Science with virtual reality and gaming and our level 8 honours degree AL801 Bachelor of Science honours with virtual reality and gaming. So first we'll take a look at our ordinary degree. This is a full-time three-year course. Last year on the CEO, the cutoff points were 216 points. Now, very important to note is the minimum entry requirements. You must obtain at least five grade O6s at ordinary level. You must obtain this grade in mathematics and in the language English or Irish. Any QQI, that's Quality and Qualifications Ireland Level 5 qualification is acceptable. Applicants to this program are required, however, to have one specified mathematics module included in their award or alternatively have their leaving certificate mathematics. Refer to the QQI information listed under student resources on the CEO website for a list of accepted mathematics modules. And now we will look and talk about our honours degree. This is a full time four years course. Last year on the CEO, the cutoff points were 303 points. Now, very important to note is the minimum entry requirements again. You must obtain a grade H5 at higher level in two subjects, plus at least four grade O6s at ordinary levels. You must obtain this grade in mathematics and in language, English or Irish. QQI is more stringent for this program. QQI applicants to this program must hold the following award. That's information technology, at CITXX, they may also be required to have software development, 5M0529 and the module Mathematics, 5N1833 or Maths for IT, that's 5N18396 or Maths for STEM 5N0556 included in the award or alternatively have Leaving Certificate Mathematics. They must also possess distinctions in three modules. This information is actually again in our prospectus and you can take a look at it there again. Software development is an enormous growth area in ICT engineering. Over 900 software companies are currently in operation in Ireland, employing more than 24,000 people. Ireland's reputation as a centre of software excellence is unrivaled in Europe. It is home to multinational and indigenous firms generating 16 billion euro worth of exports annually. This sector's wide ranging activities include software development, research and design, business services and Europe and Middle East and Africa international headquarters. Game development is one of the fastest growing sectors in the entertainment industry. Annual video game sales are approximately 30 billion euro and are expected to rise to 40 billion euro in the next four years. The value of the computer games industry worldwide is in excess of, of, of 85 billion euro and it is an area with enormous potential for development. Last year, there was global investment of over 3 billion euro in virtual reality and augmented reality industries. It reflects the exciting potential to provide immersive environments in gaming and movies that were not possible before now. Our VR and gaming specialization prepares you to work as a software developer in these fast paced industries. As a student on this course, you will work with the latest tools and technologies to enhance your skill set. Software development languages, tools and methodologies provide a backbone of this program. These skills are critical to following a career in game development, but they also have widespread applications across many domains. So why should you study VR and gaming in AIT? AIT's Faculty of Engineering and Informatics is housed in one of the most modern and well-equipped facilities of its kind in the country. The common entry structure of this program allows you to experience many core aspects of software development while allowing you to change your specialization entering second year if you have the required CEO points. Lecturers have extensive industry experience which enriches their teaching skills and competencies. You will be part of an exciting software development environment with advanced research, search and strong links to industry. You will enjoy a six month work placement during your third year of either program, giving you real industrial experience while undertaking a challenging project. As part of your adventure in software design, you will have the opportunity to work in an industry both locally and abroad on a work placement program. This gives you relevant working experience and valuable contacts in the industry before you graduate. 
If you decide to travel abroad on your placement, our excellent international office will set you up with one of our partner institutes across Europe and Asia. There is further study opportunities. Graduates with honours are eligible to apply to join the Masters of Science in Software Engineering Level 9 at AIT or appropriate postgraduate programmes at other third level institutions. There are excellent career prospects from these courses. Students graduating from these courses will be in a position to take up careers as game developers, software designers, database programmers and administrators and technical salespersons. Employers include Ericsson, Vallejo, Cisco, Avaya, SAP, Hewlett Packard, Google, Microsoft, IBM, Riverdeep, as well as financial institutions and small and medium sized enterprises. Thank you for listening and I hope to see some of you in September 2021. So thanks very much for that, Dennis. My name is Niall Murray and I'm a lecturer in the Department of Computer and Software Engineering in AIT. So what I'm going to do in this brief presentation is give you an overview of some of the projects that are ongoing in AIT that use um, virtual reality and gaming technologies. So one such area is VR and tourism. And this is a, a, an area that's, that's growing significantly in recent years. And in this project that we carried out over the last 18 months or so, um, you'll see, I hope, a place in Athlone that you're very familiar with. This, of course, is Athlone Castle. Um, this project has been entirely developed by the student using Unity 3D, which is one of the technologies that are used in the VR and gaming course in software design. Another very important area um, and with huge potential for virtual reality is education. And we see here own developing uh, augmented reality applications for learning how to use different types of complex machines. Um, this is, was in collaboration with uh, one of our uh, students in the Polymer Engineering course. So you can see here the AR instruction telling the user what to click on. Another example is using AR to help users to solve complex tasks like the Rubik's Cube. Particularly interesting domain um, is to use uh, virtual reality technologies in emerging areas such as autonomous systems or autonomous vehicles. And we have Gilherm here using um, augmented reality to simulate, again, a street in Athlone and a driving experience through VR down one of the streets in, in Athlone town. The key advantage of using technologies like virtual reality here is that this is a very safe experience. So we're, we're not putting users in any uh, danger or um, all these kind of uh, novel applications can be trialed in, in the safety of uh, a lab. Another example use case that you might be a little bit surprised to hear about is to use of virtual reality in building modeling. So you could design or your architect can design a building and uh, this offers you the opportunity to navigate around the design building, either teleporting or walking naturally, as we'll see in a few moments, and really seeing in a like for like realistic scale uh, what the actual design will look like. So this is um, a, a teaching area here with the student seats and the, the portal at, at the, the top of the scene. Another thing we're very passionate about, another domain we're very passionate about in AIT is the use of these technologies in health. And we here see one of our colleagues in the Faculty of Engineering Informatics, Connor, demonstrating the use of augmented reality in an assessment application. So essentially we see him navigating here with his finger in, in midair. And what he's doing here is interacting with virtual content that's presented through the uh, Microsoft HoloLens device. So when he does that uh, point, action, he's essentially, it's like he's clicking on a mouse uh, in, in a computer system. And here we have the exact same uh, environment in virtual reality. 
So the room was designed uh, on a one-to-one -one scale with the real room so we could understand the, the differences between users' experience in virtual reality and AR in this kind of application. And another uh, really nice example that we're quite passionate about again is, is health. And this is done by Deborah, where she uh, has performed a user experience evaluation of a VR uh, application to help users to learn how to navigate an electric wheelchair in quite complex scenarios. Really nice societal challenge. Now again, uh, the use of AR and VR in operating complex machines in, in a safe manner. So this is Shamane, who's developed an AR application to control a robotic arm remotely. And Connor is here again, teleporting from one area in a building to another to control and interact with uh, an injection molding machine. So again, this is a like for like uh, 3D virtual model. And you can see here that we can actually interact uh, touch, press buttons, open doors, close doors, exactly as you would in a, in, in a real world environment. And one of the really nice uh, opportunities that exist that when you develop these applications in VR is that you can capture a lot of metrics on the user. And the final example of work that we, we do in the project here is uh, trying to understand the impact of different types of sound in these virtual, virtual reality environments to see how the users react to this. So what Azrieli has done here is created a virtual environment that positions the sound in certain domains and we want to see what's the user response to those sounds in terms of their head movement. So that's an overview of some of the really exciting projects we have ongoing as part of uh, our work with virtual reality and gaming technologies in AIT. And I hope to see you all during the open day where I can, I'm happy to answer any questions.